Today I'm going to make an apple pie. Now the last few years I've stopped making pies because I have never been good at pie crusts. Uh, and still I'm not, I'm not ashamed for using prepared pie crusts and, um, and I might use them again. But a cousin, Cindy, um, shared a recipe for, um, shared a recipe with me and many times people have said, oh, I've got a fail-proof pie crust and I failed. So this one doesn't say, it just says pie crust. So I, I'm welcome to fail if I want to, but um, it, it's a, a really good one. So this year I made um, an apple pie for Thanksgiving. And so it just takes two cups of flour, and I'm doing it in food processing. The one I made for Thanksgiving, I just used with the pastry blender and blended it in. So um, a teaspoon of salt, um, a quarter of a teaspoon of corn um, starch, um, a teaspoon of sugar, and then along with that, um, a cube of butter and milk. Um, and you're supposed to keep the um, milk and the butter um, cool, so I left it in the fridge to the last minute. <laughs> Um, now, as I did this, or Bonnie's doing the um, Crisco, half a cup, so it's two of the quarter cup, and then a half cup of butter right here. Um, and I will pulse that a few times to work that in, to cut it in with the butter. And then, um, you think just the whole thing, or should I cut I, it? I keep cutting it. Yeah. Just, I'm thinking you need to cut this to make sure it's, I'm going to cut it several times. Cube. Put those in. Okay, and then I'll pulse that and then add the milk. Now, when I was making it Thanksgiving time, it was a little dry for me, and so I um, it takes a fourth a cup of milk, and I'm, I'm I did five tablespoons, so a tablespoon is more. Just pull it and pulse that. You want to get pieces, you don't want it too smooth, you want clumps. That's a lot faster than a pastry blender. Um, oh, I don't know, I think maybe that's enough. Okay. So, let me see if I can show you how nice that is. Oops. And just see how nice that, that blended that in. Um, so now I'm going to the liquid in. Um, I think I'm going to do a little bit less and just see. So I put in about four tablespoons in. Let's see what that does. Yeah, I, it's partly how you measure it and um, so how much moisture is in the air. Yeah. So it's already going into That's a, a ball. Anyway. You can yeah. pour it down the Oh, I think I won't do any more. Okay. So, I don't know. This is probably a little bit more than a tablespoon okay. left, but this looks really nice. Mm -hmm. And so, I'm going to just grab that. Um, I have a hard time getting that one. Diana has, Diana has this nice um, mat. I'll show you. I used to years ago have a Tupperware mat that had this circle on it like this, and I liked it. Maybe I still have it somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but I'm going to try this this, um, this mat here. Um, and you just roll out the pie, put a little flour on here, and then you kind of form this into a... This is actually a two-crust pie, so I'm going to use some on the top. So I'm going to take about half of it. Take this off um, and save that. I used to take a little more for the bottom because if there's extra, you can always have it for the top. Okay, so just push it down to make a circle and then just put a little on top so it doesn't stick. 
and just roll it out. Oh, a nice little Yeah, roll this rolls out really nice. Very At Thanksgiving, nice. it was a little bit of work and it didn't look beautiful, but it still tasted good. Yeah. Now, I think this pie pan is what? Is that a nine inch pie pan? Yes. So, this one goes clear. To, I almost have it set. Using someone else's equipment. Yeah. Yes. Well, yeah, that's true. And I am not an expert on pies, but this was just such a good pie crust when we were visiting our cousins. I it have, oh, delicious. I want to have that. So, you make it bigger than the circle you want to have. It was, it was much more crumbly when I did Thanksgiving mm -hmm. and harder to work with, but it was really flaky. I hope adding more moisture doesn't ruin that. Okay, so then you kind of just have to roll it up so you can get it in the pan. You want a bench scraper? Oh, um, no. I guess. I don't know what a bench scraper is. <laughs> Diana has a bench scraper. Oh. <laughs> I just never called it that, so Call it that it works very nice. Okay. okay, so just put this out kind of in the middle here. So I just like it to go around the edge. Oh, it's a little heavy. So just kind of make it as um, even as you can. So you can see right here I got a little thin. Sometimes I'll take some of the big stuff and patch it. And it won't show in this part of it. It's a very free, and yeah. it won't affect the flaky. No, no. Obviously, it wasn't quite in the center, so this is a little. So we were lower hoping here. to illustrate to you to just keep working with it. Don't panic if it doesn't turn out the way you saw it on television. Just keep patting it together; it'll be delicious. Mm -hmm. So this fall, someone gave me, and I kind of I don't cut it at this point, just because I like having a little bit here. To, to ease in with the top. Um, so this summer, this fall, I have a neighbor who gives me apples. And she gave me, um, I could have had much more if I would have known um, I was gonna do this, I would have got more. But they're green apples, um, Granny, Smith. Granny Smith apples. <laughs> and I thought, it was like the end of October or beginning of November and I thought, Oh, I wonder if they're, you know, I wish I could just make the pie filling now. And I remembered years ago I'd had a recipe for canning your own pie filling. So I went online and I found this one um, and made it ahead of time. So number one, all I had to do worry about was, is the crust. And if you have a favorite one already made, go for it. And, and so I was able to have fresh canned, um, my own fresh canned apples. Um, and so next year, hopefully this neighbor will give me more apples, I'll demonstrate making this. I just labeled it green apple filling so I remember the green apples when, ones that I used. It takes um, clear gel and it said do not use instant. And I've not worked with clear gel but I've had some for a long time and I had no idea what kind it was. So I put it in some water and it thickened without heating so I figured it's instant. And I had to go down and find um, the kind you can cook. Where did you find it? I found it, um, I don't know the name of the store, the Bosch place. Oh, a Bosch the Kitchen Bosch Center. Center. Yeah, Bosch Kitchen Center here. And then they had it, and it was easy to get. And it takes cinnamon, nutmeg, and I added cardamom. Um, and so it's, it, you just make this batch, it made, this batch made six quarts, and it took about 30 medium-sized apples. So next fall, I'll be doing this, so watch out for 30 medium-sized apples, and you can do it with me. <laughs> Is that water bath or pressure canned? It's water bath, yeah. Okay. And so, I thought it probably won't last as long, but it makes six quarts. Now, it, that I did notice that the, um, it's not as full as maybe some of you like it. I like that it just took one quart, so I went with it. But if you want, if you want more, you could do uh, you know one and a half per one or something like that. But um, I thought it was enough for me. So it's already got the filling, the spice. All you do is put it in, and it's got and plenty it of juice. It has a homemade flavor. It's not like buying 
that commercially can. No, no. And I don't know. I, 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 this has a good amount of spice. I like my, I like more cinnamon and stuff. That's why I added cardamom. Adds a little bit depth to the cinnamon flavor, and it just smells. You can smell it. Can you smell the cinnamon? It's enough mm -hmm. that you can really, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And so it's easier than opening the can to do this. So then for the top of the pie, just take the rest of it. And, you know, like I said, this isn't my a talent where I shine. <laughs> yet. But, yet. <laughs> so um, I'd fi finally gotten, I'd finally given up on pie crusts. So you had, um, but now you. Yeah, now I, I really consider. like this pie um, recipe. So, see now this this I can see there's a little bit of butter that was a little big glop, but it'll just melt and be flakier in that spot. So lucky no, person. Yeah. <laughs> Who would like a little more butter? <laughs> um, on the crust. Like I said, this is something I haven't done for quite a few years. And when you're doing a whole Thanksgiving dinner, um, any last minute things are not something you want to do. And so this, this one, because I had the can filling, I did it the day before and it was great. Um, so. ah! <laughs> this part shows more. Um, but I don't know. I think it's nice to make it look homemade. <laughs> you know, if it tastes good enough, it doesn't matter what. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. I, I want to do this one a little bit bigger because it's harder to patch on the top. So. And I don't really do well when everybody's watching me, so. <laughs> All right. If you so. guys would all close your eyes for a minute. I'll <laughs> Oh, okay. that's looking great. Yeah. Sometimes I fold it in force and then and then put it on. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's kind of us trying to do that. But this this scraper does help. What did yeah. you call it? A bench, bench scraper. Do you or know I've, why it's I've called heard, that? I've heard it referred to as a dough cutter. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, you can get that all in yeah. there. Great. Well, I think the way this dough ah. is handling is okay. proof that it's going to be flaky. Flaky, yeah. You see, I just messed that. Yeah. Let me put it back here. So I, it's not. I don't know. Maybe I should have put a little more liquid, but it's easy to handle here. Yeah. So I don't to no. Make it sticky. No. Well, so you can pretend kind of, those are apple cutouts and that you're yeah. just making an extra embellished well, Everybody crust. will know I made this. And, and you don't need to slash it for the top. No, <laughs> no <laughs> vent holes are already in. The and point is, to keep going when these yeah. batches, yeah. and it, it'll probably just uh, yeah, cook right just together. So, yeah. so the point of, of a, when you have a double crust pie is that you fold it under it's hard on this one, but you fold it all under the top, the bottom one. You kind of fold it in there. Yes. So, um, so when we finished this segment of making this pie, we kind of ran, ran out of um, footage room, and so I didn't show you the end. And at the point, it was kind of falling apart here, but it, I just pieced it in, and it looks beautiful. And then I took the crust and I just fluted the edges there. So now we're going to... Then you bake it in the oven for how long? About 40 minutes at 375. Okay. And so we're going to do a little pieces here. Um, I can tell it's a flaky crust because it's very tender. Uh, Wowie. That looks so, so pretty. Delicious. It's good with vanilla ice cream. <laughs> and some people like to warm it up. My husband doesn't like hot apple pie. He likes it room temperature. So I never do that. We'll need one more piece for the cameraman. Okay. Yep. Oh, that's so nice. Look at that. I love so, I don't know. I'm, I'm really glad I can find a pie crust that people like yeah. to eat. 
Thank you. And some people put a glaze on it or sugar. I, I, it's one more step for me, but it's pretty on that way. Mmm. That is excellent. Mm. I love this spice combination. Mm -hmm. I think I can taste the cardamom. Yeah, I think I can too. Just it's right. So, so good. Mm -hmm. Everything about it. Hope you delicious. enjoy it. Um, I'm going to make a caramel sauce um, to put on um, this last piece of the apple pie that we made. Um, it's a one that our cousin Cindy, um, who gave me the pie crust recipe, also had this. And this is one you make it a bigger batch and put it under cinnamon rolls. And I'm going to try that at a, a later date. But this, I'm just doing actually a fourth of this recipe to make caramel sauce. Um, and it takes, um, so for this batch, it takes a half a cup of butter, a half a cup of granulated sugar half a cup of brown sugar and the I think the secret ingredient is this is just pre-measured one cup of vanilla ice cream. Wow. That is a secret ingredient. Melt it a little bit. Ice and cream. you just cook it. Yeah, just ice cream. So you put it right in with the granulated sugar? It takes the place of the cream and stuff. Wow. So it just you just put so that in. So it's a fast way yeah. to make the caramel. Yeah. yeah and this is just show the pan to the Ever? Yeah. So there's see, see the, ice, the cream. ice cream in there. You just melt it all to get the ice cream in with it. Um, the last time I made it, it went a little sugary. So I'm going to try to melt it a little slower. Well, I bet the sugary was still good. Yeah. Well, Barry didn't really love it. <laughs> it's good. So. Um, and I, I've shared my trick before to make sure that I think Bonnie shared it too. Maybe you have to, to share the um, to make sure it doesn't go get sugary because when it's a, um, a crystalline solution with sugar in it, if there's one even grain of crystal, it can make a chain reaction to go back to being a crystal. So the trick is to get rid of all of the crystals on the side of the pan. So you're scraping that well. Yeah. And then you have one more trick. Yeah. Um, when I was in college, I had a cooking class, and they had us put like a wet paper towel on a spatula, yeah. and you'd wash around it. But this is actually a faster, more sure way. So you have this on low, medium heat. Like it. From one to nine, it's on a five. Yeah. So now I've got it liquidy and scraping around the sides, and I'm going to hold it. Thanks. <laughs> um, put the lid on and bring it to a boil, and let it boil for two minutes with the lid on. You turned it up to eight. Mm -hmm. So it was a more slower, I wanted to melt it slower to get most of the gra grains done. And then I want to bring it to a boil. And Just to kind of get it uh, from the sides down into yeah. the heat. And so what it does, the heat, the boiling makes steam, and the steams melt any granules on the side. What about what's on the spoon? I think I'll change the spoon. Sometimes I wash it. I'll get a different spoon. Yeah, so if you get a different spoon. Sometimes I'm, I'm don't have as many as she has here, and I'll just wash the um, side of the, of the spatula. See, it's starting already, starting to boil. So I will turn it down maybe a notch, and then let it um, steam for two minutes. Okay. Oh, look, show it. Right here he goes. Okay, so we have our bubbly sauce. I, I usually put it in a, um, a little pitcher by the pie and let people serve this, but I'll just cup it a little. I'll just pour. So just kind of drizzle it, but it's a little oh, more yeah. drizzle. <laughs> That's good. Oh, yeah. too bad. Yeah. Which will also so, warm up the pie, too. Yep. Yeah. So that, that's it. 
Okay, we need a thumbnail. Yep, and then we'll taste it for you. My, my caramel apple pie. Mm. <laughs> that is so good. Too big a bite. <laughs> no.